for your phase one and your phase two training. So people always ask me what, what do I need or what do I need for training? Uh, and this is the things that you need. Uh, you got these three things. You can do a lot of or a lot of the, 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 the training we have in our curriculum, and everything after that will be specialized gear. But this, these three things: uh, your boxing gloves, your pair of sticks, and your pads. They cover a great area, and you can still get a good training and still learn some uh, good uh, good techniques and skills. And um, so let's go through it. Obvious one is you need a pair of boxing gloves. So these are the ones. I pick, these are twins, these are uh, Muay Thai branded uh, boxing gloves, I'm a little bit of a nerd when it comes to that, but this is the ones I pick, um, this is, oh sorry, this is 14 ounce, you can also get the ones that are 12, but um, I like these, and um, just make sure that you get some proper boxing gloves that won't break apart, uh, because you will be using this a lot, not only for the wrap, but for different uh, trainings for stick fighting, etc, etc. So these are some of the things you need to keep, keep an eye on. When you do get your boxing glove, if you are not buying one, uh, buying a pair of protections for your hands for either stick or boxing, and you just want to use one, this is, the, this is one thing to keep in mind of. As you can see here on mine, it has a webbing here. So this is totally out of the question if you're going to hold sticks, unless you cut this open. Uh, or you get one that just has a band here instead. That's fine too. The thing that you have to remember is that when you put your glove on, I'm going to use my left hand here, is that your thumb, when you close the stick or you close your hand around the stick, that your thumb is not protruding on the edge here uh, around the boxing glove. Because if you can feel your finger anywhere here while you're holding the stick, you get hit there by a stick, you're going to lose a fingernail or you're going to break a thumb or whatever. The same goes around here on your, on your finger as well. Make sure that these sections here are protected. Also here, when you make a fist, that your fingers are not protruding past this point. Because if they are and you get hit here, your fingernails here or your, the tips of your fingers are going to take a lot of damage. This is some of the things that you have. So just make sure that when you get your stick and you're holding it, make sure it protects all of your fingers on the on the inside of the hand. So when you're holding it here, it's fine. Usually there's a lot of protection here. So some may go for more than 12 pounds, uh, 12 ounce, which is also good, because then you can take a lot of hit here. But just make sure that around this section around your hand, that your thumb and your index fingers or all of your fingernails here are protected. Because if you're using this for stick, this is a very, very, uh, this is a very important detail that you don't want to miss because you'll be paying a lot for this. So um, second of all, when you do get a pair of boxing gloves, make sure it's good quality because you, if you are using it for those two or you just don't want your gear breaking down after a year, um, it's worth the investment to put a little bit extra money into it because it is, after all, your fingers, your hand that's, that's going to take the damage. So the next thing you need is a pair of sticks. And yeah, you need to just don't buy one buy two. Um, if you want to know what kind of sticks and you know uh, what I call it, what kind of considerations, uh, one of our instructors Mike made a video on that. Uh, I suggest you go find those and they'll give you the entire guide of how we like to nerd sticks and what type of sticks we use for training. But for this video definitely need two pair of sticks that are the same equal length and weight. Pair of sticks. Last thing you will need is some focus pads or focus gloves. Focus pads and focus gloves is pretty much the same thing, it just depends on how they are. If it's something like this, where you're holding it like this, it's a focus pad, because you're holding a pad. If it's one of those where you're putting it in like a glove, that's a focus glove or focus mitt. But in either case, what you do need is you need something that's durable, that won't break down in you, and can take a, can take a lot of punch. So, this is the ones I recommend from BAC, B-A-C. They're really good. I've had them for, fuck, I don't know how long, a long time, and they still haven't broken down. I've had other gloves that I've had in lesser years, and they all broken down. But I feel this one is a good one. So if you can track this one down, it's a really good solution. They have the focus pads. They have the, the tie pad-like ones, and they have these big kicking shows. This one is a really good one. Uh, if you can find it, and if you do, I recommend this because this won't break down on you. 
And um, as long as you have these three things, a pair of boxing gloves, a pair of sticks, and a pair of focus mitts or pads, this is really great. It will cover a lot of topics and uh, you'll be set for a long time. Hope you find this information useful and see you in class. Bye.